Yeah, well, today's event is not about promoting Fleur as a company. What it is about is about understanding the full value chain of hydrogen. What are the realities? What are the fears? What are the phobias? Is it all unicorns and rainbows, or have we actually got an industry here that is scalable, that will grow, and how can we all help achieve that? We're seeing uh, all technologies kind of having a place um, and as we move forward I think it would be very hard to predict if one technology will dominate and most likely it will not. Um, so I think we're going to see a wide array of uh, technologies be deployed and, and be successful in the market and that's probably good because each technology can kind of focus on the area where it's best suited. Welcome to the panel debate. Um, I hope you had interesting conversations through there. I can sense the energy in the room. It's, it's tenable, so the neural network is, is starting to occur. They're starting to send out those international signals that we are a serious player in the area of hydrogen and that we mean business and actually we want to create that hydrogen economy. You want to scale up in the UK, um, we need to ex expand pretty rapidly on, this, on the supply chain. And I think it's not technology that's the barrier right now. It's the, why shouldn't I wait? So I'd like to say thank you to the panel, who are all amongst you, and you, because you're all the panel anyway. A round of applause to you all, please. It's good to come out and, and engage with a you know, major EPC like Fluor and to understand where the supply chain and where we think it's heading with hydrogen and that we're um, heading to a sustainable future rather than dashing to something that's not going to happen. So yeah, really good.